your bottom chamber, which is glowing. Your top chamber, your door with the, that's going to be a vent soon. And your primary heated is right here. Uh, this sucks in the heated air and it heats it as it goes around. The secondary air inlet is right there, but it's not connected to anything. It really is supposed to be connected to that outlet there, but we had to put on the lift and before I grind it off and put the pipe on. But that'll be a summer's job because it's sucking good enough from there. That secondary air goes down inside the stove at the back. It wraps around and there's a complex little maze of tunnels and that that are all preheat that thing before it goes into and that shoots down into the into the jet stream there. That took a while to figure out but got it working good. Well that's pretty much the overlook on the outside of the stove. Now let's check out and see how this thing burns on the inside. This stove is built for a fast burn and store all the heat in the 3,000 gallon water tank. Which is right now covered with a ladder and insulated. Never did get time to sheet it. And if we go up the old ladder, it's nice and toasty on the roof. It's giving a thing, and if you look over there, oh, that's a pressure release. Don't want to blow this puppy high, but I don't think I could. Ah, don't know, might. There you go. Glass is a little bit cleaner now. We actually see what's going on inside there. Pile of ash and ash collector. 
before it goes into the secondary uh, or the, the main tube of the boiler. Every three weeks or so, I stick a vacuum down the throat of this thing and suck out whatever I can. That's a thing that's going to be fixed in the summertime when I have uh, warmer climates. But this thing, it was only built for about 2500 bucks. Scrap metals and junk care and stuff. And it works wonders. And the best thing is it burns sawdust like uh, you wouldn't believe. I need, I can get that water fairly hot, fairly quick.